Today I'm going to show you how you can use videos in GitHub Issues and PRs. This is a 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you probably know, in each episode, I will try to explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, or yet try and teach you something, and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. And if you're wondering, yes, I'm wearing glasses today. It's not a new thing, but usually I wear contact lenses. It's just that I completely forgotten to buy contact lenses, so I've run out of them and I am stuck with the glasses. Today, we talk about uploading and using videos on GitHub. As developers, the ability to collaborate through videos, especially for showcasing code or behaviors or showing issues or bug reproduction, is extremely important, especially for communities or teams that are distributed. But let's start a clock and get into it. Let's quickly see how to upload a video in GitHub and then let's explore some scenarios in which this could be very helpful. So here we are on our GitHub issues. And I want to report an issue on my new coderdave.io website because when I try to register for a newsletter and I'm using the Edge browser in iOS, the newsletter pop-up doesn't appear, but instead the page scrolls back up. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, go to coderdev.io and sign up for the newsletter because soon we will have some free PDF sent to your inbox. Anyway, back to the issue. I want to provide a video to prove the problem I'm facing. So what I can do is just find a video I've recorded on my phone and just drag and drop it in the issue. You see it says it's uploading and when it's done i can submit the issue like it would normally do but the difference now is that as you can see i have the video directly in my issue and i can play it directly from here and you can see the bug reproduction is much much easier to understand and that of course works also in pull requests let's create a pull request and in here as we've seen before i can just drag and drop my file and have it as part of the pull request content. And it works the same also in discussions. So if you want to reply to a discussion or create a new discussion, which contains a video, again, you just drag and drop the video and you'll have it available for everyone. As you've seen, uploading a video in GitHub and using it in PRs, issues and discussions, it's pretty straightforward. So let's see now where this can be very helpful. But before we do that, Hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will help this video to be recommended to more viewers so they can benefit from it. And of course, that would mean a lot to me. All right, I wanna share three scenarios in which uploading and using videos in GitHub can be very beneficial. And the first one is helping a maintainer reproducing a bug. Bugs are something that every developer deals with. And sometimes words are just not enough to explain properly how to reproduce a bug. And often these kind of resolution require a long back and forth between the developer and the reporter in order to be able to solve the bug. By enabling users to upload videos, we have the ability to visually reproduce the way a bug is identified and significantly decrease the time spent to try and reproduce it. The second scenario is providing context in a pull request for our reviewers. There is a lot of context that need to be added to those PRs, especially about requirements or architectural decisions and so on and so forth. Developers can utilize videos to share more details about complex code changes with colleagues by providing walkthroughs, demos of functionalities, and other important context to maximize their review feedback. Last scenario in which using a video could be very beneficial is sharing how a new feature might look like. When it comes to new feature and products or services, Usually we use uh, scripted descriptions, but they are not very good in providing the end-to-end -end workflow or user interaction and demonstrate that to either the stakeholders or the other developers. Sharing videos of prototype walkthroughs or providing talk tracks for static design have also helped development teams get to the heart of what they are setting out to build and why, so they can get others excited about their work and ultimately build a better product for their own users. All right, almost done. But first, the proverbial cherry on the cake, because uploading videos is also available from the mobile app for both iOS and Android. And this is especially useful for mobile developers who can now record a video of a mobile bug and upload it straight to an issue all from the same device. And we're done. I'm actually not sure if I made the three minutes limit today, but I hope it's been helpful. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this new feature and if it's something valuable to you. 
Also, you may want to check this video over here in which I go through how to properly manage a pull request in GitHub. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.